Thank you very much for visiting my channel. If not difficult, like and subscribe to my channel to always be aware of events. Thank. Amanda Holden made her way to Westminster Hall on Friday to chat to members of the public who were queuing to view the Queen's coffin, following Her Majesty's death on Thursday, September 8 in Balmoral, Scotland. The presenter, 51, who usually fronts Heart FM Breakfast, swapped the studio for the crowds of somber Brits for the news show. Sharing clips from her visit to Instagram. A dusty blue mini skirt and an complimenting v-neck jumper. Clad with Heart FM branded tech gear. And the presenter appeared to be taking it all in as she gazed out at the busy historical landmark. The atmosphere and camaraderie was incredible. Friendships forged forever in shared grief. And chatting to the public, one member of the queue admitted to waiting around 10 hours overnight. The TV personality penned that there were friendships forged forever in shared grief among the crowds. Amanda cut a solemn figure as she joined the crowds, sharing a video to her 1.8M followers as she looked out. The star wrote, My privilege to talk to some of you queuing and coming out of Westminster Hall this morning. We'd be lost without each other today, responded the interviewee. Describing the atmosphere, Amanda shared. It's quite somber and emotional if I'm honest and they all say the same thing. That it was an incredible experience and that the silence is just beautiful. Fellow stars have also taken two. Some of which who had waited for over 10 hours to pay their respects. She sported a lilac, long line coat. With Amanda then questioning. Oh my goodness. So you've made friends with all these people? All the way along. They've kept everyone going and we've kept each other going all the way through. Westminster over the past few days. With Philip Schofield and Holly Willoughby cutting somber figures as they joined the crowd a little later in the morning. The this morning presenters donned all black ensembles. With Holly in a face mask as they made their way into the historic building to view the late monarch lying in state. Philip, 60, opted to wear a smart black suit and tie for the visit, while, Holly, 41, was elegant in an understated black dress with silver button detailing along the front. The pair were seen wearing lanyards around their necks, but it is not yet known if they were there for this morning filming or there for a personal visit. Meanwhile, Heidi Range sharing pictures of her daughter Aurelia laying flowers at the scene. As the singer paid tribute, she wrote, Pleased that we were able to pay our respects today. While Susanna Reid queued for more than seven hours on Her Majesty's Coffin's first day being on public view on Thursday. The Good Morning Britain host, 51, took to Twitter to announce that she and her mother Sue had paid their respects to the late monarch as she lay in state. She described the historic moment as majestic and peaceful as she revealed she had joined mourners in the massive queues, which had reached five miles in length. She wrote, Evening. Along with my lovely mum and her very good friend, I have just experienced a moment in history, witnessing the Queen lying in state in Westminster Hall. At once majestic and peaceful. Susanna said she had waited for more than seven hours to see Her Majesty's coffin as she offered advice to others wanting to pay their respects. She continued, If you are planning to queue here are our tips. We joined at 1.23pm near Butler's Wharf and entered Westminster Hall at 8.43pm 7 hours 20 minutes.